in difficulty is natural, I suspect many of these trunk injuries are probably from uh, human interventions and that's likely to be from snares. So we know that there are two mil four million people living on the boundaries of the Kruger National Park, most of them in abject poverty and that means that people go hunting for not for elephants. It wouldn't have been intentional that it would have been to try and catch something like a, um, an impala to eat to feed the family. And unfortunately, a byproduct of snaring, which is a it's a particularly cruel way of trying to hunt something, but often the cheapest and easiest way to catch something. Well, a byproduct of that would be an elephant that gets its trunk caught in a snare. That said, that elephant, although it looks a bit odd is surviving and I've no doubt it will survive that is not a fresh injury at all and so I think it will be absolutely fine and we've seen many many elephants out here with sort of bits of their trunks missing and they get by you know they drink by sticking their faces into the water they go down on their knees there's a big bull who's missing half his trunk that's how he does it they manage to browse by pulling over the trees and then just biting the, the, the leaves as opposed to sort of picking them off individually like many of the elephants do and they just get by. And eating there, quite interestingly, again we were discussing the other day um, the eating of less than fresh bush for example, bush that is um, well, old leaves that have fallen off the trees and that elephant is doing precisely that and seems to be enjoying it quite a lot. Elephants are starting to look ropey as I've said. Their hips are showing and I think that there are a number of nutritional deficiencies that they're being subjected to right now. Let's just see where they go. I will try and move into a better position but they're moving because there's also another vehicle coming.